Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a personal like story and like a little bit about like my journey. As you saw from the title, I'm going to be talking about what I learned in therapy. And I've wanted to make this video for a long time. I talk about like healing, journaling, self-care, all of those things. And I want to share with you guys like a little bit of my journey about just like the inner work that I've done. Even as a therapist, I still go to therapy for that maintenance. I will share like some of my early beginnings with therapy. If you want to hear a little bit about my journey, get to know a little bit me more or like to know a little bit more about me, then definitely keep on watching. Ooh, let me sit my tea first. Nice and hot, how I like it. So first I'll just start off by saying like why I went to therapy. Whew, the first time that I went to therapy was when I was 17 years old. You know, I just grew up in a dysfunctional lifestyle. My mom really struggled with addiction for the better part of most of my life. And so I really had like this disconnection with her with affection. You guys, we're getting a little deep today, a little personal. And so I just did not ever want to receive affection from my mom. So as you can imagine, if you don't want your own mom to like hug you, Mm, you really don't want other people to hug you. What was really, I think, great about my mom is that she understood her struggles. So she really tried to like plug me into areas where I could potentially thrive. So I was always like in some type of like community based program. And so when I was 17 and I was in one of these programs, you know, one of the leaders came and tried to give me a hug and verbatim, I said, literally thought of you hugging me makes my skin crawl. I wasn't trying to hurt like their feelings, but legit, I just didn't like anybody like touching me. Oh my gosh, I've grown so much. Someone gave a scholarship for me to go to therapy and you guys, legit, my life changed. I could get like a little bit emotional about it, but like, yes, my life literally changed from then. It changed just the path, how I saw myself. Whew. Yeah, it just like changed a lot. To this day, I'm like so grateful for that woman. Like I still know her, still connected with her. What I learned about therapy during that season, one of the things that I learned was boundaries. I mean, when you grow up in like a dysfunctional, like world you just boundaries who boundaries where don't exist like it's just invasion oftentimes i just just normalize people saying things people doing unhealthy things and just trying to stay on track and so what i learned in therapy was that boundaries are okay it doesn't mean that i don't love my family it doesn't mean that you know i see them as like really bad people but it just meant that it's okay for me to assert and for me to um, protect um, parts of myself. And so some of the boundaries that I learned was to say no. So a lot of the work was also releasing like the guilt and the shame and dealing with the inner strife that was created when I started saying no. You know, people were like, oh, you think you're too good and really tried to make me feel bad about saying no to certain things and like really wanting to choose a better path for my life. No shade to them, but I saw and I didn't like very much. I really learned how to deal with people not being happy with my decisions or the boundaries that I was like setting in my life. Um, another thing that I really learned was to really like love and accept myself and like what people were giving me. I mean, I think that I'm like a pretty okay person. And so, you know, naturally, like I was connecting with people, but there was just a wall up legit just a wall up and I really didn't want people to get close to me to know like the scars or like the things that I had dealt with or were dealing with so yes I would like smile it was like very much a facade you know and I didn't want people to like get close to that inner heart. So I really had to learn what it meant to be okay, what it meant to not be okay and to like name that in my life. And so that really opened up the door for certain people. Um, I'm still like guarded, but I have gotten so much better than before where I don't think that like all people are like out to get me or all people like want something from you, which is like not really a good way, but hey, I was living out of survival. 
being completely frank. So I really learned how to bring that wall down, really learned how to name my emotions, name my feelings, and really accept the love that people were trying to give to me. It really started just like my healing process, the boundaries, plus being able to let that wall down, accept like love and care and like affection from people was like a beautiful thing. Cause I, I mean, my mom loved me very much, but you know, due to the addiction, she just really didn't know how to show it. And so Thus, I was pushing a lot of people away. Fast forward to like college. I think I was probably 19. Um, and I went back to that same therapist because I was like, she know me. She know me. So in that season, I really had to learn how to forgive because I was like, I became like a pro at setting boundaries a little bit too good. So my cutoff game was superb, a little too strong. So yes, I was bringing down that wall and like letting people in. But if I saw a red flag and you reminded me of anybody of the past, anybody from that dysfunctional lifestyle that I fought so hard to get out, oh, it's a wrap. I don't trust you. I don't do you. It's a no for me. Exit stage left. It was like a different form of like a wall because I wasn't really giving people a chance. And I learned that like, I really struggled with forgiveness. And that was honestly because I still hadn't really forgiven my mom. Probably when I was around 20, um, I was still in therapy, but around 20, like she got into drug court and really was like forced into getting clean. And she's been um, clean ever since. It was a lot of work to forgive her. I didn't talk to my mom for like two years. Of course, that can really do some damage. Like I do some real damage. So I had to, at 19, really start that work that carried into my early 20s of forgiving my mom, healing that relationship then still going back to those boundaries. Yeah, that was some of the hardest work because a lot of hard conversations, a lot of naming things and dealing with stuff, honestly, that I had normalized. And it was like, listen, baby girl, this is not normal at all. Like not even a little bit. To sum it all up about like what I learned, boundaries are okay. They're not wrong <laughs> and toxic people unhealthy people still want access to you and still want you to operate where they can either manipulate you or take advantage of you so they're going to work hard to say that no your boundaries are wrong you're selfish and you really shouldn't do that but they're okay they are for preservation and they have a reason learn how to accept affection accept healing um, in your life it comes in different forms and although it may not be naturally coming from the person that you want it to come from, learning how to accept that and to grow and to learn to love yourself and allow others to love you is so restorative and healing. Also, while you're setting your boundaries, make sure you also work on that forgiveness piece. It's really hard to move forward in your life if you're still holding on to grudges and pain and sorrow and holding on to that trauma you know, from the past. And so forgiveness can be either forgiving yourself for staying, for ignoring, for dealing with it, for not speaking up, or for forgiveness of another person who did hurt you, who was a part of that infliction and that sadness and pain that you really tried to bottle up. I feel like I need another sip, y'all. That was like deep. I feel so open with you guys. Like, <laughs> let me know down in the comments below if you like this type of video, if there are questions or things that you want me to share and talk about. Um, I would love to. I definitely want to connect more with you guys. I'm so excited. I'm almost at 30,000 subscribers. Like, boom. Like that's like super crazy to me. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, definitely give me the thumbs up. Watch some other videos before you leave on out of here. And as always, I'm wishing you the best and I will see you in the next video. Bye.